I, I am opposed to non-germane amendments, whether it's funding for the FBI building or, for example, in the House bill, whether it's a tax cut for high-income earners in blue states or other non-germane amendments in the House bill like marijuana studies or aid to illegal immigrants. Uh, when we get to the end of the process, I would hope all of the non-COVID-related measures are out, no matter what bills they were in at the start. We're going to back the states up and try to make sure that we can get through this period of high unemployment without people losing uh, their unemployment benefits. So we're trying to hit that sweet spot to continue unemployment insurance at an adequate level, but not in effect pay people to stay at home. That's the sweet spot that we're trying to hit. Stay Thank you. Uh, with this brand new disease, as Senator Cornyn pointed out, Almost anybody could be become liable for almost anything. And there are enterprising trial lawyers all over the country waiting to take advantage of it. 3,500 lawsuits already passed, growing by the day. Americans today are on the precipice of, and in some cases have already gone over, several cliffs for one reason, one reason alone. The White House and Senate Republicans could not get their act together wasting precious time. They still don't have their act together. In my many years in serving in this chamber, I have never seen a majority of any type, this Republican majority, respond to a national emergency in such a disorganized and disoriented fashion. It's hurting Americans. It's not like they didn't know the deadlines were coming up. Democrats in the House passed the HEROES Act two months ago, two and a half months ago. Instead of coming up with a single comprehensive bill, divisions within their own party forced Republicans to release several separate bills. With all their infighting, they can't even agree on one bill. To the other view. No. <laughs>